not far away. I went to visit for a day. Got covered with some gooey ooze that changed my DNA. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool. My other kids play after school. I turn into a prehistoric hero. I'm in, I'm in. Today on Dino Squad, Roger plays a series of practical jokes on his teammates, but no one is laughing. Roger's pranks could lead the Dino Squad to disaster. And so, without further ado, for your educational needs, I've spared no expense and I've applied a modest portion of my incredible genius to give to you Roger Blair's science report on the molecular structure of the important magnesium mineral dolomite. Uh. Huh? Uh. <laughs> That's enough. Roger's inventions have always been wonderful in the past, and I'm sure as soon as he works the kinks out of this one, it'll be just as good. I can't believe they laughed. I can't believe it! That last play by Maxwell is a gain of 22 yards. It's first and goal, Kittery point. I'm out, Kittery. All right, men. Don't let this marshland team off the hook. We need to score. Run the 32A end split. Got it, Maxwell? You got it, coach. We'll take care of it. Let's go, team. <laughs> Thanks, Roger. Oh, you're welcome. Roger, we need to talk. I just found out about the whole honey in the helmet prank. Not only was it foolish, but Max could have been seriously hurt. You're lucky the principal decided just to give you detention. If it had been up to me, you would have been suspended. But nobody was hurt. It's no big deal. It wasn't funny. And it almost cost us the game. It's lucky for you we rallied in the fourth quarter and won by a 40-yard field goal. Otherwise, there would have been a lot of angry students on your doorstep. Um, Geek here, remember? I claim the prerogative of not really caring about sports all that much, thank you. No more pranks, Roger. You hear me? <laughs> you pranked Rump? That's just cruel. I call it the anti-directional tennis ball. I made it with a gyroscopic redirectional motivator, which enables the ball to always stay one move ahead of the subject of the prank. But I, I promise, that's the only other prank I was doing. Promise. Ah! It's the end! The end! Look! My beautiful hair! It's so short! It's so short! It has no style! I have no style! That is too sweet. What? I didn't do anything. <laughs> You gave me this invention of yours, assuring me that it would keep my hair perfect. And, and, just look what it did! Well, okay, I did give Caruso this. It's a prototype hairstyling device that monitors hair growth on a molecular level, and then affects an adjustment via a series of microscopic lasers to keep everything exactly the way it should be. But I mm, guess I haven't worked at all the kinks. <laughs> it's only a haircut. A molecularly monitored haircut. It'll grow back. That is not the point, Roger. Yeah, maybe Caruso liked his hair the way it was. People will see me like this. With no style, they'll think I have no style. 
No! It's the end! The end! <laughs> Roger, it hurts a lot to be made to look foolish in front of others. Did you ever think of that? Sorry, but it's obvious that nobody here has a sense of humor. What am I going to do? I know, I know, I'll just go dino! Go dino! Now, when I go out, no one will see my horrible haircut. Uh, somehow, dear, I don't think that would work. I'll tell you what. I think we can find you a nice wig to wear until your hair grows back out to the length you like. A wig? That's an awesome idea. Maybe I could get a blonde wig. That would be so cool. Or maybe tiger stripes. That would really make a statement. I was thinking of something a little more along the lines of your original hair. Nothing could be as good as the original, but I wear everything well. I'm sure I'll make it look good. That's the spirit, I think. Oh, maybe I'm not quite finished. Maybe not by a long shot. Oh. I make this look good. <laughs> no! Don't look at my hair! Oh. <laughs> what? Some people just don't get funny. Load this batch of microbiotic primordial ooze into the helicopter. If seeding the clouds works, then microbes of primordial ooze will rain down on this planet and infect everything from plants to animals to insects. All will become dinosaurs. Nothing will stand against my plans. It will herald a new dawn, the end of man, the rise of the dinosaurs. Perfect. Super Geek strikes again. Look, I know you're still mad at me, but I was hoping we could still be friends. Roger, of course we're still friends. Don't be silly. <laughs> I love you! <gasps> I love you! No way! Really? You love me? Sweet! Uh, guys, no offense, but I really don't love either one of you. I mean, um, no. I love you! See? She loves me! No! Me! Me! She loves me! Guys, wait. I didn't say that. I mean, I heard my voice say that, but, but I didn't say that. At least, I don't think I said I that. love you! <laughs> Hey, everybody! Fiona loves both Cat and Mike! <laughs> I love you! She loves me! No! 
She loves me! <laughs> Roger! That's it, Roger! We've had enough, and we are not taking any more. The jokes have gone too far, Raj. Are you even listening, Roger? Man, he's not even listening to us. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your faces. Oh, dog, that was too rich. All of you, too rich. Roger, you are just acting so... It's just outrageous. You gotta cool it with the jokes. Yeah. Dude, you made me look like a total nitwit. That's harsh, man. You almost cost me the game, Roger. You almost made me let down the whole team. The whole school down. I work hard at what I do. I don't get you, Roger. Look at my short hair. I can't go out in public like this. I can't go out in public either because those two goons, Pat and Mike, think I'm in love with them. Thanks to you. The whole school is calling me Pat's girlfriend, Mike's girlfriend. It's the most horrible, embarrassing thing. It makes me look like a complete ditz. But it's so funny. Huh? huh? It's Velocity. He's on the move. He's heading for that large storm cloud. Perhaps he's planning on seeding it? But seeding it with what? Velocity does seem to have a one-track mind. I'll give you one guess. He's gonna make it rain dinosaurs? Roger, is that cumulonimbus? It is. In English, please. A thunderhead. The cloud. And maybe we can use that to our advantage. Velocity's primordial ooze is temperature sensitive. If we could freeze it before it even left the cloud in the form of rain, then that would probably destroy the ooze or burst it at a cellular level. We'll need a quantity of silver iodide and dry ice, compounds generally used to seed clouds for rain. It causes the lowering of temperature in the clouds to form ice, which then becomes heavier and falls, becoming rain on the way down. The ice is the part we need, but how to deliver the payload? Maybe not one payload, but five separate payloads. Delivered simultaneously by five separate remote-controlled rockets, and geeks shall rule the Earth! <laughs> Get him, kids. I got old Vic covered on this end. Hmm. My instruments are picking up some interference. We're all in position, Roger. Good. The timing. The timing has to be just right. If this doesn't go off correctly, then it's going to rain primordial ooze micro, creating a huge mile square area of mutant swords. Thousands and thousands, every insect, every plant, every bird, every animal. We get it. Say when. It's going to be close. Okay, now. So far, so good, guys. I think. Roger, they're right on us. It's Velocity's men. They're all over the place. No, get back. Get back. Roger, help. Roger, help me. What's happening? Guys! What am I gonna do? My friends! Victor Velocity's got them! I have to do something. Figure out a way to save them. <gasps> what? The primordial ooze has failed? 
my equipment isn't registering anything. Whatever went wrong is not an accident. Ground team, move in. Possible intruders. Good work on the cloud, but I've got two new signals on the map. It must be Velocity's men. You kids better get out of there. They're in trouble, Ms. Moynihan. All of them. Velocity's men captured them. He's got all four of them. That's strange, dear, because my readings indicate they're standing right behind you. Oh, dude, Roger. You should see the look on your face. You believed us. We weren't really trapped by those oozer losers. We faked it. Just a little prank to really make your day. Like it? <laughs> <laughs> Ironic. I guess that's what we get for crying raptor. There's no way we're getting out of here without them seeing us. Then let's let them see us. Let's go, Dino! Go, Dino! Go, Dino! Split up and run them right. Sir, it's those perfect dinosaurs again. We're giving chase. Lay down some traps. Whatever you do, don't let them get away. I'm working my way down. Get those dinosaurs and hold them! The net traps aren't working! Try the tar trap! Wait for it, Kuso. Wait for it. I'm ready. I got you covered from above. Let's get out of here. Let me know if you find anything. Anything at all! Roger, I wanted to ask you how you felt when your friends played that prank on you like that out in the field. How do you think I felt? I'm asking you. Tell me. Tell them. He doesn't need to tell us. We know exactly how he felt. Because he did it to us. It wasn't funny! We thought it was. Just like you thought your pranks were funny. See, Raj? Even though jokes and pranks may be funny, the hurt is there. It's very real and can be devastating. That is often the problem with such pranks. They can be funny to other people, but in truth, they can harm the recipient. But you four also went too far scaring Roger like that. Two wrongs do not make a right. You should have all come to me first before doing something so mean-spirited. Truth is, guys, the reason I started up with all the pranks in the first place was that I was mad at you guys when you laughed at me when my presentation failed. It was one thing for those others to laugh, but my friends, it was too much. I just wanted to, to show you all what it felt like. But maybe I got a little carried away. You could have just talked to us. Yeah, I guess. I am now. Look, I'm sorry. Let me make it up to you guys. Caruso, I'll help you grow your hair back faster. I got a special hat for that, too. Fiona, I'll make sure Pat and Mike know that you're not their girlfriend. Anything you guys want, you got it. Well, at least Rump already got what he wanted. That took me weeks to make. Oh, what the heck. Good boy, Rump. It's all yours, buddy. I'm in, I'm in, in the Dino Squad. You don't have to be a Dino Squad hero to help save the Earth. Be cool. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Now I try to act normal, keep my cool while 
other kids play after school, I turn into a prehistoric hero. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in, in.